This is the Bon Jo Show. This is not your show. We have traded the 905 for G O O B. This is Bon Jo Show. Wow, people, this is Bonjo. I'm out here in Split, Croatia today. Uh, I just finished an interview with um, my boy Dennis. He's an ex-American, now he's an expat. He's been here for four years. Cool guy, man. Very professional. Really like the guy. Uh, as you can see, here it is. Uh, it's locked down here, and um, people are still partying out here, drinking. Um, it doesn't make sense because all the bars and everything are closed, but but uh, But everybody still they just buy beer at the local tea sack. It's like a little mobile 7-eleven type of deal And they have a drink right on the patio right beside everybody look it as you can see That's what's going on. So it's pretty cool. I guess it's laid back, but uh, I just don't like the whole uh, closed patios and uh, closed food places I think you can still sell, sell, sell drinks if you uh, sell food, but it has to have this to-go window. I'm gonna get a shawarma, or actually not a shawarma, a uh, gyro, and I'm gonna show you guys what it's like um, to order at the window. It's just this plastic barrier, and you put your money in it in a drawer like a bank. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty crazy though. And uh, I'm in t-shirt weather. And here it is. Look at the Riva. See, it's nice, huh? <clears throat> yeah, it's not too bad out here. I haven't been to Split in a couple months. I don't even know the last time I've been to Split was. But it's pretty sick here. <clears throat> yeah, let's walk. Let's take a little quick trip down the Riva. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to meet this other guy, this, uh, this Irish dude. He was telling me um, that it's kind of lonely for an expat because uh, he can't go around meeting people anymore because all that stuff's closed. But I mean, you just gotta come out to the Riva. Look at this. And this is split. See how easy it is to come here? See, it's, uh, it's no different. Here's my favorite place, the uh, olive tree. As you can see, they're snipping the olive trees down and there's no patio. But if you look to this side, they're all sitting down having drinks. So it's like, it's like why close the patios if you're just gonna sit at the pu public benches anyways, you know what I mean? I don't know, I don't get it. I wish they would just open things and be normal about it. Uh, I think it's time to live with the sickness and shut down this uh, big business profits, you know what I mean? I mean, these guys can afford to close for a fucking couple months because these guys make a killing when it's tourist season, you know what I mean? Look at their beauty. It's beautiful here. And it's a cloudy day, you know what I mean? Uh, but I'm trying to get a shawarma today. I'm gonna probably turn this off, get a shawarma, I'll show you what it's like to order during uh, lockdown, as they say. Lockdown. Um, I don't know, it's normal to me. I'm gonna go to, I'm trying to find a bank machine too. And um, yeah, that's 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 this is Croatia during lockdown. Look at not bad, huh? Beauty. Yeah, so you just come through this uh, this little market in uh, Diocletian's Palace, and uh, come to Zagrebetska Ulica. And uh, yeah, and then this is where I go to get the best, the best gyro in town, gyro. Um, hold on. Are you guys open? Yeah. Uh, can I get a just a kebab? A wrap, wrap. Thank you. And this is the best kebab place in town. It's closed right now, so you gotta order at the window. Basically, 
It's called uh, Donair Kebab House. And uh, there's the guy there making the food. And uh, let's do it. It's the best, best place to split. Here, yeah, this guy. He's the guy that's making it. This is the best kebab place in uh, <laughs> Split, right? <Yeah. laughs> What's it called? Kebab House. Kebab House. And it's right on uh, what? Zagrebetska uh, Ulitsa? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. You want to take it inside and show them? <laughs> <laughs> What's your Instagram? Or anything? Oh, it's Tony. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard for. It's a little hard for Canadians to spell this. Yeah, I'll give it. Yeah, give it to me so you guys can add it. Subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. <laughs> See, listen to this man. <laughs> Yeah, so the guy that owns that place or works there, I guess it's Bosnian owned. Pretty cool guy. Uh, we we're just talking about everything and uh, we we're laughing at my videos. And uh, we we're making fun of tourists that come here to Croatia and they, uh, they buy cocaine and it's just flour in the back or something or some crushed Tylenol. Uh, and the tourists all fall for it. But it's like, that's why like, I don't understand people that go to other countries and do drugs because you know it's fake, man. You know it's going to be fake, bro. And uh, yeah, we're just having a good laugh at people being stupid. And uh, he's a cool guy. I suggest everybody go give him business when you're in Croatia, man. Uh, the Kebab House on Zagrebečka Ulica in Split. Beautiful place. Let's sit down. Let's sit down in this park by the statue of Nin Gregorski. And... Uh, have a gyro. Actually, I'll go take you guys to see that statue. I'm gonna walk across this field here. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, it's my favorite kebab house. I love it here. Hold on, let me see something. Where is this shit? I don't know where I'm going here. No, I'm just gonna sit here. Those girls moved. But as you can see in the background, that's uh, the statue of Nin, and uh, this is Diocletian's palace, and this is the park in front of the fountain that uh, is the main tourist attraction here, really. I'm going to have um, a nice little snack, you know what I mean? Hold on. And looky there, if you can see here, Vixens. I don't know if you can read that. It looks like there's a strip club or a sex shop or a boutique there, which is pretty sick. Uh, dude hooked it up. I don't know why you get put a beer in a bag, but hey, beer in a bag, beer in a bag. Oh my God, let's check this out. Let's check this shit out. This is what they look like. Here it is, huh? Yeah, that guy was basically telling me that it's uh, YouTube's meant for fun, so people shouldn't take it too literal. So I told my content kind of provokes people's thoughts and makes them uh, hate me or love me. Mmm. Yeah, let me beat it. Let me bite into this a little more. I'm using my beer as a tripod right now. It's pretty cool. Mmm. And this plus a beer was only 39 kunas. So I mean that's a banging deal. I got feta cheese in it, onions, lettuce, meat, and mayonnaise. Damn, that's so good. I 
I would show you guys Diocletian's Palace and the Statue of Nin up close, but you can just look at my past videos. I got so much footage of it. Oh man, this is Dankburger. This is Bonjour, thanks for watching.